Hello everyone! If you have your Withering Waves and it's asking to download again because you moved your game files, I'll show you exactly how to tell a game that you relocated your files. So first you want to get, you want to have two locations. You want to have your Withering Waves game where the files actually are. So mine is in E slash games. And you want to have where the game wants uh, to download. So we can just do that by copying this. Press Alt D, or you can press any of this blank space here. Control V, and we're here. You can see that this is empty because it creates a temporary folder for our files to exist. Okay, so now we want to copy this location. Let's just put it in a notepad actually. So I'm going to open notepad by doing Windows R. Notepad. Where game wants to be downloaded. And then we're going to have where our files actually are. So where game files actually are. We're going to paste this. And we're going to utilize a symbolic link to do this. All right. So what a symbolic link does is it connects two directories or file locations to each other. So what we want to do is we want to connect this Wuthering Waves game in my C drive to my Wuthering Waves games in my E drive. So open command prompt by either opening Windows R, CMD, and pressing Control Shift and Enter. Or you can press the Start key, CMD. Right click this and run as administrator. Now you want to click yes on the UAC to open our administrative command prompt. Now you want to use make link and we're going to check what this does. Make link creates a symbolic link and we have uh, three arguments we can use. And then, okay, D creates a directly symbolic link, default is a file symbolic link. So that's what we're going to do. We can also make it a hard link or directory junction. They're both okay options, but I want to make a directly symbolic link. So we're going to do mklink for make link slash d, and we're going to put in quotes where the game wants to be downloaded. I'm going to take this. I'm going to press my right click, or you can do control V. And then we're going to put our target, which is where our game files actually are. Control C. I'm going to paste it in here again. And press enter. Now you might see an error. You cannot create a file when that file already exists. That's because our, our, our folder here already exists. What we want to do is we want to make sure that there's nothing in here and we want to delete it. Now, when I press up to take the previous command back, I press enter, and we can see here, there, there's a new file. This is our symbolic link, and when we go over here, when we go over to our E drive, we can see that it's the same thing because they're linked together. How can we make sure? Right click, new, text document. We can see that our text document was made. I'm going to rename it, test1, and test1, I'm going to rename, I'm going to make a new folder over here, uh, new file over here, test2, and it's here. I'm going to delete these two to make sure it actually works, and yeah, it definitely works. We can exit out of our command prompt, our temporary notepad, and over here, we're going to restart our game for it to reload our game files. I'm going to open Wuthering Waves, and I'm going to press start. Hopefully you guys have this too. If not, try to follow the instructions again, or leave a comment below. Press start. And we can see our game is beginning to run. And there you go, the game is running.
Thank you guys for watching, and hope you guys can enjoy the game. Bye-bye.